Hello all, this is Brent Horton again, a uh, student of uh, KIN 353, and this is basically just a continuation of the other video that we just did. Um, this is going to be about strengthening and stretching exercises that pertains to the uh, grade 2 ankle sprain. And um, so the first strengthening exercise that would be advised would uh, entail uh, basically the intrinsic or the deep musculature surrounding the foot. Um, so a good one that would help with this would be a towel scrunch. Um, so basically you'd want to find like a hard surface, like tile would be good. Um, we're kind of improvising here. So I just placed uh, a little board underneath. But basically what the action here is, is uh, keeping that foot flat on the ground and then um, just curling of the, uh, of the toes. And we want to hold, hold it for five seconds, and then release. Bring it back in, hold for five seconds. Three, two, one, back out. Five, four, three, two, one, back out. Okay. And then uh, go ahead and release. Okay, stop. So you'd want to do that um, approximately uh, anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, uh, two to three times a day. The second one that would be good for the intrinsic muscles uh, would be the uh, alphabet. So, oh, you don't need this. So basically with the foot out uh, ex fully extended, you want to uh, do the uppercase letters of the alphabet with your foot. So in the air, if you can do an A, good, a B, good, and go slow with this, don't rush it, a D. An E, an F, and we'll just go to G. Good. So you want to do that all the way up to Z, and then if you want, you can even go back down, back to A if you want. Uh, but just uh, one, one to two of those, uh, uh, two times a day would be fine, or even one time a day would be fine with that one. Um, the next one, uh, so we really want to concentrate uh, so we have the intrinsic muscles of the foot, and then we want to concentrate on the exterior or the extrinsic, extrinsic muscles of the foot, um, which would be muscles of the lower leg. Um, so more specifically, actually, if you can get up on the table, mom. And uh, what I have here is just some TheraBand. Um, so you want something that's lightweight. For rehabilitation so this is only about 10 pounds or so you can even get a lighter one I think that's a yellow color but basically what you want to do is place this around the foot like so okay and have the person hold on to it as they're kind of leaning back and pulling creating tension and having it right there right around the upper foot area right there good and so for the first one we're gonna do is she's gonna actually uh, as she's play, placing the resistance, she's going to push against, right, into plantar flexion. And this is going to work the uh, gastrocnemius, okay, which uh, attaches here to the uh, Achilles tendon, plantar fascia. All these muscles are interconnected here. Good. So we'll do uh, about 15 of those. And again, you want to do this uh, anywhere between two to three times a day. And the important thing here is to make sure everything is in alignment. Okay, so straight down, there you go. And uh, same thing here at the, at the bottom of the contraction, we wanna hold for three to five seconds and then slowly bring it back down. Three to five seconds, slowly bring it back down. Okay, very good. Okay, the next one is um, going in the opposite direction. So it, it would help if you have something you can tie it against, uh, like a pole or having someone that can help you assist with this. And it's uh, going in the opposite direction. So this is going to be dorsiflexion, um, working the anterior muscle compartment of the lower leg, uh, more specifically the anterior tibialis and the uh, peroneus longus. And so as I'm applying that pressure, she's going to bring it towards her. And the same, same philosophy applies here. We're going to hold it three to five seconds, come back towards me, okay, and then bring it towards you. Good, nice and slow, bring it back towards me, oops. 
maybe fan it out a little bit. And then maybe at a lower angle, okay? Nice and slow on this one. So we wanna bring it up towards her, hold, three, five seconds, back down slow, up towards her, good. And same thing here, we wanna do about 10 to 15 reps, two to three times a day. Uh, the next one is um, e-version. So this is something that she can actually do herself by placing it here, bring the other foot out. Wrapping around the second one here. Grab a hold, okay? So there's tension here with both legs straight, okay? And so, um, I'm sorry, we're doing an e-version. So we're gonna, this foot is gonna go out, all right? So just concentrating movement here at the ankle. All right, so it's, there you go. So it's out like this. Good, creating a little more tension. There you go, so in and out, okay? Nice and slow, controlled. There you go, just like that. Good, and same thing. I want you to hold it at the top of the contraction and then slowly back. Good, three to five second hold, slowly back. Good, and the main thing here too is we wanna make sure that we're keeping a 90 degree bend in the uh, ankle here, how she's doing it. Good, as far as we can go with it, good. All right, and the next one is uh, the opposite, so Again, if you have some, somebody to help you out with this one, it would help. Although you can do it by yourself, but it is always better if you have someone to help or something to tie it. And it's just going in the opposite direction now, so an inversion. Good. Remember, nice and slow. Hold it at the top of the contraction. Good. And then slowly back. Slowly back. Hold. Slowly back. Good. Slowly back. And same thing here, uh, 10 to 15, uh, two to three times a day would be good on this one. And finally is uh, a good stretching program. So stretching of the first, the extrinsic muscles, so of the gastrocnemius, uh, this is where something like a, a longer towel would be handy. So go ahead and put your foot out straight. All right, you're gonna wrap it right around at the top of the foot, okay? So as she's leaning back, she's gonna apply force with both hands, pulling, okay? And making sure it's right on that top of the, the, the toe there so that there's enough tension to create force to stretch the uh, gastrocnemius. Feel that stretch? Mm -hmm. So you wanna hold this uh, anywhere from between 20 to 40 seconds, um, a minimum of 20 seconds. Uh, you can actually go as long as a minute, um, and you want to you want to do this um, just throughout the day, periodically. Good. And finally, the intrinsic muscles. Um, so just if you could bring your foot up like this. There you go. And you want to basically grab your heel, right? As you're pushing down on that heel, I want you to do the opposite and grab that foot. I don't know if the camera can pick up. All right, so basically what we're trying to do is we're going to try to flex, or I'm sorry, the uh, stretch the uh, plantar fascia, the underside of the foot here. And so we're doing a, an opposite motion with both hands. So one pulling uh, from the toe area and the other from the, the heel area, creating that stretch. Um, and we want to hold that stretch uh, once again um, maybe a little longer on this one, maybe 30 seconds to uh, a minute, several times a day. And that's it. I thank you.